We're going to turn overseas now to the Vatican, packed with pilgrims for tomorrow's historic double canonization of two very popular popes, John Paul II and John XXIII. But there will be controversy surrounding the ceremony, and ABC's chief foreign correspondent Terry Moran has the story from Rome. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Viana, and what a scene it is here. The streets, the squares are packed, people singing, people dancing, flags are waving, mostly Polish, and everyone here to celebrate the raising up of two men of the modern era to the ancient community of saints. Polish bikers set off for Rome. Blessed by a priest, they are pilgrims too, and they're all joining an extraordinary modern pilgrimage, as up to a million of the Catholic faithful converge on the Eternal City. Two popes, two saints. In 2,000 years, the church has never seen anything like it. At the center of events, John Paul II, the great, some call him, whose fierce resistance to tyranny helped end the Cold War. And John XXIII, the good, as he's known, a humble man who revolutionized the church in the modern world. Probably the two popes who changed the church the most. You're seeing something that's timeless being brought to life before our very eyes. Yet on the eve of the big day, there are questions about how fast these two men became saints. John Paul II was fast-tracked almost from the moment of his death when crowds chanted, Santo Subito, sainthood now at his funeral. Church law requires that in addition to a holy life, a saint must be responsible for the occurrence of two miracles, certified by a Vatican panel of doctors and priests. This Costa Rican woman says she was miraculously cured of a brain aneurysm in 2011 after praying to John Paul II. Levantate. A voice no said, stand up and don't be afraid, she recalls. John XXIII, he's got only one miracle attributed to him, but Pope Francis waived the second miracle requirement, making possible this double canonization. It's all too fast, say critics of the church, especially for John Paul II, whose papacy was shadowed by the sexual abuse scandal. But for the people here, the faithful, it's about something else. It's about the way these two men imperfectly, perhaps, tried to live out this ancient faith with courage, the courage of the saints. Diana? It really is history in the making. Absolutely. Controversy or not, it's a huge day in Rome, and Terry Moran will be there covering it for ABC News throughout this day. Terry, thank you.